for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he arose again the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen of Cephas then of the twelve. After that he was seen of about 500 brethren at once of whom the greater part remain until this present but some are falling asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me as of one born of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle. But I persecuted the church. But, somebody say but. but. But the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored, somebody say labored, it's labor day, more abundantly than they all, ye not, I but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach and so we believe. Church, what Paul is saying here, our entire faith, our entire Christianity, our entire belief system and what we believe in, rest is built and is founded on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes amen. Our relationship with Christ is built on the resurrection, on the foundations of the apostles, is built on the fact that Jesus defeated death. Yes. What are you dealing with today that is dead? What, oh glory to his name. What are you dealing with today that is dead? What are you dealing with today that is so desperate? What are you dealing with today that's so un unreasonable? What are you dealing with today that looks so hopeless? I'm here to tell you that you serve a resurrected yeah. God. He can handle sickness. Oh he can handle disease. Yeah. He can handle unemployment. Yeah.
Sometimes, you know, I, I heard a, I'm going to close. I heard a Dr. King speech yesterday. Because many of y'all know I have this civil right thing in me that won't die. See, whatever you're passionate about, it won't go away. He, he said just because you're a pastor, just because just you do the little church thing, you're still concerned about them young men out there. You're, 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 you're still concerned about racism and, and unfairness and civil rights and justice and righteousness. But, but whatever you're passionate about, you, you should do that thing. That's why I joked about the hair and, and all this stuff, but, but if you're passionate about it, do that. But I heard Dr. King pastor, he was preaching, and a, and a young man memorized his speech. And mother, he said, he, th throughout his, his leadership, he, he, he got a lot of death threats. He got a lot of death threats. He said, but well, this one night around 12 o'clock, he got a call. He said, on the other end, the, the voice was so chilling and cold. And he said, that one time was a low moment for him. He was weak in that moment. And he said, over his cup of coffee, Thank you, Jesus. his father was not there, his mother was not there, Amen. his wife and his followers could not help him. He said, in this moment, I need my religion to work for me. My God. My God. He, he, he said, in that moment, yeah. I need my religion to work for me. They're trying to kill my wife. They're trying to kill my children. They're trying to kill my dream. I'm trying to help both. God, I need you to resurrect this dead feeling I have right now. And God spoke back to Dr. King and said, keep fighting for righteousness. Keep fighting for people. Keep fighting for what you know to be right. And that's what we're going to do. I don't care how many people don't come alongside of us. We're going to keep standing up for what is right. yourself all the time when people glory to his name. Oh! When people who we talk to. The Bible says walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yea, we all walk through the valley of shadow of death. He's right there with us. And we walk by faith and not by sight. So we know how to walk and live, church. And I don't know about you, but I refuse to give the devil any more opportunities. Let him be still, still no more. So a season means if you start today, it's a season. If this ain't the first time Pastor had to re-enter the workforce, she got favor on her life. I mean, y'all roll up on the block, stuff dying all around us. Builders, abandoned. Amen. Mm -hmm. This church is alive yes. because favor's on this church. Yeah. 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 And we don't think God got that job for us. Jesus. We don't think with all these foreclosures, our house is out there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wait, wait. <laughs> See, y'all hearken to the voice of God. That's why y'all walk into this church.